That's a short engine then, basically. Where should we go next? Uh, I suppose we can uh, tackle the side of the block. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have oil. We are going to tackle the side of the block now. So. It's rather, hmm. Should have prepped that up before we got this far, to be honest, but uh, we're here now. We need that plugged, that plugged, and that plugged. Oh, and them. Oh. We need all them plugged. Well, I sort that out. Like I said, I should have really had a bash at that before. Um, but of course, it wasn't here before, was it? Because it was down in Chiang Mai being machined. Right. Can't imagine anything more boring than watching a stupid bloke scrape gaskets. So. Oh, I know I am a relic from a forgotten era, but. I do not like these steel shim gaskets. I just don't like them. I like the old school paper shit. So, there's a smear underneath there because there's some block erosion. But I haven't put any on the top. I don't know if this thing does leak. I will get no satisfaction out of saying I told you so because it will be muggings here that has to strip it down and redo it that's if it don't blow the engine up right there's two nuts there they are these nuts that's the third time now Those of you that got a hip hop memory. After I got this one on, um, the oil that I primed the pump up with can run back into the sump. So, engine's going upright in uh, a few minutes. Right after a little bit of torquing. Right, what have I got that set to? I reckon that could easily be because of the uh, of it. Let's have 25 newton meters, what do you reckon? Yeah. I don't reckon that's out of place. Right, one, two, three, four. I'm not sure the oil cooler likes it then. Done on it, that one, yep, and that one, so it would be that one now, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, right, one, two, three, four, 
five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and Those are snugging down, I don't quite know why they snug down so much, but they did. Right. Next up. We're going to put this on dry just keep any crap out and then when I have a look at it in a minute we'll see if uh, the oil pump has drained back in to it well that's all lovely jubbly isn't it I don't have a I don't have a juju hole for that now, something I saw floating around here it was a copper washer. And I do believe. <laughs> Let's stay in that bolt. I do believe that has to go in there. Because that's the oil return from the turbo, which I haven't got on there yet. Ah. I still will return from the alternator, or first I say from the vacuum pump, which is on the alternator. Mm. Swung on that a little bit hard then. So here we got my decked deck, which we'll now have a look at, uh, oh, <laughs> no we won't, because um, I ain't got my crank pulley yet, I'm going to have to go to the car shop and buy a crank pulley. Oh, that's not too high at all, is it? Oh no, actually. We do have something sticking out. But what? What he says, what? He's falling out there. Not quite sure what, uh, what's happened to this dial gauge? It's gone a little bit skew with. Going to that. That's zero. So what we got? Well, that says 80. 0.8 of a mil. Point 0.8 millimeters. And again, 
50, 60, 70, 80. zero and there's your 80 right I'm gonna have to go look on the internet now and see what it should have been piston a protrusion from the cylinder block 0.68 to 0.97 millimeters well, I got 0 0.8, so <laughs> hiccups, I'm um, 0 0.17, 0 0.17 in spec, which means I'm at the higher end of uh, compression, rather than the lower end. 